This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Rahul Chatterjee. Here is an announcement. As India created history by administering more than 100 crore doses of vaccine against COVID-19, All India Radio salutes all doctors, nurses and other frontline workers and all those who got vaccinated and made this possible. Even though the country has achieved this feat, we caution our listeners that the battle against COVID is not yet over. We appeal to our listeners to get fully vaccinated at the earliest and also help others get vaccinated. During the festival season, please follow these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain dogas kiduri for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline number 011 2397 8046 and 1075 and the helpline for Meghalaya is 108 and 1070. And now, the news in detail. Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma and Assam Chief Minister Himant Biswa Sarma yesterday jointly visited Langpi, one of the disputed areas between the two states. Cabinet Ministers Renikton Lingdor, Tonkar and Atul Bora, who are both heading the regional committee of their respective states, accompanied the two chief ministers besides MLAs and officials. Sangma turned the visit as historic for both the states as the visit sends forth a message of positivity, friendship, goodwill and commitment to the people that the governments of Assam and Meghalaya are serious about the issue. The Assam Chief Minister said that both the states are resolute in their commitment to amicably resolve the issue. It was decided that the regional committees of both the states should submit their reports to the two Chief Ministers on or before the 30th of this month. Consultations with stakeholders in the respective states will follow to decide on the best course of action. Over 125 crore vaccine doses have been provided to states and union territories so far. The vaccines have been given through the central government free of cost channel and direct state procurement category. The health ministry said more than 19 crore 55 lakh balance and unutilized COVID vaccine doses are still available with the states and unit and territories. The ministry said the center is committed to accelerating the pace and expanding the scope of COVID-19 vaccination throughout the country. Along with the rest of the country, National Press Day was observed yesterday by journalists in different states of the Northeast. In Manipur, Chief Minister N. Biren Singh attended the function at the Directorate of Information and Public Relations Complex, IMFAL. Presentation of State Journalist Awards 2021 in eight different categories and holding of a workshop on the topic, Who is Not Afraid of Media, were the main highlights of the observation. Similar programs were also organized in other states like Meghalaya and Assam by the press fraternity along with the DIPR. Manipur Chief Minister stated that upholding the freedom of expression is always important and not to curtail the freedom of the press. However, one should also ensure that freedom of expression does not violate morality and decency. Union Minister for Information and Broadcasting, Anurag Thakur, yesterday called upon journalists to make all efforts to curb the menace of fake news and fake narratives. Wishing the press fraternity on National Press Day, he said, the Government of India on its part has taken measures like establishment of fact-check unit at PIB, which has gained popularity. He said the Government has focused on citizen-centric communication in a language they understand and through platforms they access, be it TV, news, radio, social media or online digital media. Telling the media as watchdog, which has a key role to play in a vibrant democracy like India, the minister said National Press Day has been a day to reflect upon the role of media and press in raising issues that matter to citizens. And in Mihale, the project eliminating night schools and energy for farms of Jainta Hills was inaugurated and flagged off by the Deputy Commissioner of West Kasi Hills, Garrod LNS Dykes, yesterday. The project is being implemented in collaboration with the Bosco Integrated Development Society and NABARD under the sponsorship of NABCONS Delhi. And with that, we in the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from All India Radio. Shalom. Have a nice day.